they are at risk of passing on this genetic mutation to their children. And I'll start with you, Dr. Makori. How does one get sickle cell disease? Thank you for the introduction. The disease itself, sickle cell is an inherited condition. Eh? What the person inherits is a defective gene. Eh? And this has to be inherited from both parents for the, for the person to develop the sickle cell disease. Eh? There are those we call carriers. Eh? These are the ones now who, who inherit part of the gene. They don't have both. Eh? aspect of the disease. So these ones will not go on to form a novat disease or form the complications of sickle cell. Mm -hmm. Now the chances of one getting sickle cell will depend whether the parents are carriers or one of the parents is a sickler, has the old gene, mm -hmm. has inherited the old gene from both parents. Mm -hmm. So this one changes uh, like if you have both parents who are sicklers, who have uh, the hemoglobin SS, as we say, mm -hmm. the, ch the children will inevitably be sicklers, all of them. Eh? Mm -hmm. But if one of the parents has the normal hemoglobin and the other parent is a sickler, there are 25 chances of them getting a child who is a carrier of the hemoglobin, of the sickle, sickle cell, cell gene. Eh? Mm -hmm. But uh, in... Uh, now the other scenario where you have a sickler with hemoglobin SS and a carrier, now you have 25% uh, chances of getting uh, one with hemoglobin SS, a full sickler, or uh, than 75% of the remaining children now getting, uh, uh, being carriers of the gene. Mm -hmm. Now the third scenario would be if you have uh, a normal parent with a sickler. Mm -hmm. That would be now the, with a carrier, that would be now the ideal situation where you will only get now 50% uh, will be normal, while, while the remaining, 